Hello everybody. Today we have a witch baby bath bomb and as you can see it's absolutely covered in glitter. This is the candy heart bath bomb. It's a very sweet scented. Um, it's very sweet and it's very pretty and let's go ahead. I'm sure it will uh, probably, oh okay it's not a fizzer, it's a foamer. It's exciting because you know the rune was more of a fizzer. Ooh that's pretty. Uh, just kind of enjoying this. I felt like this was a bit of an appropriate one. So today, um, I actually, was, oh, there's my foot, sorry, <laughs> was diagnosed uh, with a disorder. I just kind of wanted to talk about it today. Um, do you have any mental health things that you've been diagnosed with? Um, how did you feel when you were diagnosed? So today, I was diagnosed with bipolar 2 disorder. Now, I don't know a lot about it, but I will say, oops, oh, I ruined it, sorry, trying to get it in the center. Let's just go ahead and boop. <laughs> Um, I, I will say that I have definitely known there's something not quite right for a while now. Um, I also found out that my father had been diagnosed with bipolar disorder um, within the past couple of years. I'm not really in contact with him, so it wasn't anything I've really talked about uh, with, with him to understand maybe if I had something similar. Because, you know, sometimes things like that can be genetic when it comes to mental health issues. But, um... I am hopeful about getting the services and counseling and things like that, being able to handle it more uh, or handle my life better because uh, it's, it's a little scary, to be honest with you. I know there's a stigma on becoming diagnosed and getting help, and I have put off for a long time um, getting help and, and, and learning more about what's going on with me um, just for the fear of it, not even that I was worried what anybody would think. Uh, just to maybe I guess afraid that there was something really wrong with me, but the truth is is I mean there is <laughs> um, I don't necessarily think or function like Most people do. Oh, there's something inside of here. That's exciting. I can't wait to see what it is You put him that way. Nope. He wants to be that way so uh I think, I guess I'll be talking about my journey. I thought about doing another YouTube channel, but I'm like, uh, you know what, I really don't. I'm just gonna put everything on this one channel. I actually have a couple of videos I need to upload that will be talking about how I have another channel. I just need to put a disclaimer that I'm not going to be pursuing another channel. I'm just gonna put them all here. Um, you know, I feel like YouTube is kind of an outlet for me. It's not like I have a million followers anyway, but um, if I can help somebody out there to, to relate or maybe encourage you to get the help that you need, I mean, why not share my story? It can only help. Um, I've long believed that, you know, if you're honest and truthful, you've got nothing to be afraid from. Um, I've actually had some dealings with people over the last five years that have really shown me the ugly underside of how people can be to one another. Even currently with another fellow YouTuber, which is really sad. Um, but it's okay. I am going to be the bigger person and not sit here and talk petty crap about them, even though they do to me and some of my other friends who I've met on YouTube. Because you know, there's something to be said about taking the high road. <laughs> and uh, I'm worried about my own mental health not somebody else's. <laughs> so anyway, this bath bomb is absolutely beautiful. We've definitely got a beautiful pink water so far. Some shimmers in it. Oh, look at all that. Oh, I love this new camera <laughs> or my phone. It shows so much glitter. I really want to crush this one, but there's something inside of it and I don't want to break it. I think it's like a piece of paper. I don't know, maybe we can crunch around it. Ah, you know how I like to crunch. Ah. Oh, which baby? There we go. So let's get. Ah. What is this? What does it say? You haunt me. <laughs> oh, it's like, it's like, it's not quite paper. It's a little piece of, um, I guess it's coated paper. So that's kind of cool. You haunt me. I like that. And we've got a little bit left to squish. Now this bath bomb is, oh wow. Okay, I'm impressed with this glitter. It's like even, even more, I don't even know if it's showing up right. I'm just like staring at the glitter. Sorry, I'm not really showing it so well. Got a little bit more crush here. Look at how beautiful the shimmers are. And it's a hot um, spring day here in Nashville and I've got the water not so warm. It's kind of just a nice relaxing cooler bath. 
Not cold by any stretch of the imagination. Got a crush on all the bath bombs. So, um, again, tell me below if you or any of your family members have struggled with mental uh, mental health issues and um, when, what was it for you that made you decide you needed help? Um, for me, I actually, I had planned on getting into therapy this year. I've got a lot of big life changes going on and I actually had somebody close to me um, experience some major mental health issues and that just kind of got my butt in gear. I'm like, it's time for me to get help too. If this friend who uh, was going through some serious, serious issues could get help, why not me? Um, not do it while I'm not in a state of crisis. So that is what I have done. So guys, thank you so much for watching my little channel. It, uh, it, it's really nice to know there's people out there who are supportive and caring and aren't just trying to spread hate. <laughs> so uh, please subscribe and uh, as always, happy bathing and Funk says out.